So, hi, welcome to day, how many is it? Day five of Academy, our second day of BOFFs. And we're here to do our little BOFF wrap up. If you were not able to attend all of the sessions today, and there were plenty of them, uh, then this is where you hear the summary. Um, but before we go on that uh, adventure, uh, there's, there's three things I need to tell you all. Um, one is, please, if, when you're addressing a group of people, it isn't specifically all men, like a male football team, please don't use the term, hey guys. It doesn't include all of us. Um, we can be better. So keep that in mind for the rest of Academy and the rest of your life. Um, moving on to fun stuff. Tomorrow morning, if you're having trouble getting out of bed, there's still space in the escape rooms. Um, so you can sign up for the early escape room and uh, join your friends, escape from a murderer or something, and then you can go get coffee. And number three is on Thursday evening, uh, there's the pub quiz, where your knowledge of KDE and all kinds of silly things will be tested. Uh, tested to the point of destruction by Paul and myself. Uh, so if you want to join us for some silliness, you can do that then. Okay, um, I'd like to move on to the boff wrap-up proper, which means I'll be calling on people from room one first. And in the morning, our inim inimitable David Faure was running the KF6 boff. So David, if you would switch on your mic and or your camera and tell us about your KF6 boff. He's not here, I see on the chat. Well, anyone else from the KF6 boff want to jump in with a summary? I guess not. Take note that on the wiki, the KF6 boff does have a link to shared notes. Uh, so you can always get back to that. Um, after the KF6 boff, there was a licensing uh, boff run by Andreas. Uh, so, Andreas. By Andreas. So, Andreas. Hi. Um, we had a really nice, really condensed licensing boff. Um, our results are already at the mailing list, um, at the community list. Mostly we talked about software licenses, so currently um, in progress changes regarding SPDX licenses and well, a lot of stuff that is happening, and even, well, too much to talk in that buff, so we have a follow up buff tomorrow. Mostly to talk about uh, how to better present the license opportunities our users and developers that use the KD frameworks mm -hmm. by using these open source licenses. Tomorrow at 9. All right. Th is that 9 UTC or 9? UTC. 9 UTC. Great. Thank you, Andreas. And see you tomorrow then. Okay, moving on in room one, there was going to be a KDE okay. Sysadmin doc. I can yes. tell you about the KF6 stuff. You can tell me about KF6. Well, tell me about KF6, please. I will do that. So essentially what we did was uh, a continuation of last year's KF6 print, where we uh, we talked about whether our current frameworks policies, for example, with regard to the minimum Qt version, need some adaption going forward uh, to KF6. We talked about our current work, work board, whether we need apply some reorganization to it. We talked about how we get more people involved in the effort of porting or bringing the our frameworks more to KF6 and some other general topics around the, the whole process. OK, thanks, Nicolas. Uh, moving on, in room one, the sysadmin doc boff was canceled because somebody dug up a fiber optic cable, and that kind of cut people off. Uh, it's uh, been... Yes, uh, the idea for uh, that boff was going to be mainly me and Bushan and anybody else who wants to join. And Bushan had internet problems right then. So uh, we thought about rescheduling and we didn't really find a good 
a time slot that won't conflict with the other things we were interested in, so we will just deal with it in the general sysadmin box that was already planned. All right, thanks, Nicolas. Other Nicolas. Um, okay, let's connect up with the KDE Connect design team. And that was the boff at 5 UTC. KDE Connect people? Yes. You again. So we talked about everybody's favorite application, KDE Connect. Uh, in particular, some design questions like we have, for example, various different icons used in different places. So for example, we have a phone with a, a K, KDE logo, like the K and the gear. Then we, in other places, we use just the K or just the gear or a Plasma logo instead. And we agreed that this is something that should be unified. We talked about some design proposals that were lying around and how to move forward on them. We talked a bit about the states of our Mac OS and Windows ports and our relatively new QML app and how to move forward with all of that. OK, so we're moving forward. Good. Um, Plasma and moving forward is, of course, a way to discover things. Ha. Huh. That's the seg into Plasma Discover. Aleish, are you out there to tell us about the Discover boff? Aleish is not out there. Anyone else from the Discover boff? I was there. I can talk about it. Well then. Hi, Nate. Hi, everybody. So we had a boff about Discover. We talked about. Um, various ideas about discover both big and small one idea is to one idea that we had was to centralize using discover for all of the k new stuff content when it happens to be installed we discussed uh, other backends we did a little bit of uh, ui design and discover uh, talked about some possible modifications we might want to make and uh, there were some people from other distros there we talked about some distro specific bugs figured out how we could maybe start working around those or uh, contribute upstream. So yeah, uh, it was a pretty good boff. All right, thanks, Nate. Someday I'm going to have to write a Discover backend for FreeBSD. Then we'll do. Then I can come to your boff as well. OK, that was the last one for room one for today, unless setup was something really exciting. You all were talking about which laptops you were using. So let's move on to room two. In the morning, we had Plasma Big Screen with Aditya and Marco running that. Aditya, you are my hero for Big Screen. But you're also not here. Anyone else from the Plasma Big Screen group? If you're not available to talk, then we'll move on in room two afternoon. Alberts was working on a mailing list owner policy, basically to tidy up our mailing lists. Hi, Albert. Hello. So yeah, we had a discussion about uh, mailing lists. Basically, we're trying to make sure that all of them are properly moderated because like, our mailing lists are, some of them are 20 years old, right? So. Some of the moderators might have fallen through the cracks. So we came with a few points that uh, I will send to the mailing list. But basically, it's making sure that all the mailing lists are properly moderated. Also making sure that all the mailing lists have the archives moderated, because we have some of the old ones which don't have them. So we will fix that. And yeah, basically, some internal cleaning, we need to make sure that things are properly run. OK, thank you, Albert. It's good to know that our mailing lists and communication channels are preserved for posterity and properly maintained. OK, moving on in room two, everyone's favorite application, Dolphin. Yes. Uh, Elvis, hi. Hi, everybody. So yeah, we we discussed um, first um, how we can use T 
telemetry data to improve dolphin. For instance, we, we agreed to count how many people uh, mount uh, network folders, which is something we need to improve uh, support for. And on this topic, we also discussed uh, how to not make uh, dolphin frees when uh, how our users uh, browse uh, such network folders. And uh, also how can uh, we improve the thumbnails generation, which uh, sometimes can be slow. And uh, finally, we briefly discussed the status of the Polkit support in uh, KIO, which is almost ready, but uh, needs a final round of QA by someone who really knows the topic which is complicated. So, so far we have been uh, unable to, to find the right person. So we were thinking maybe Adam, our uh, new project coordinator, maybe he can uh, find the, the right person for us. That's it. Yeah. Is, is, it, is this worth twitting about to, to search for someone who knows the, the material? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? All right, and just as a reminder, you mentioned telemetry, but telemetry in KDE is entirely optional. It's opt-in, and the user has to explicitly choose to do that. Yes, yes. Sure. Yeah. I just say that to remind people that we're not here to chase your data. Yeah. Even if... Okay. Thanks, Elvis. Thanks. There's also notes on share.kde.org if you want to read up on the rest of that dolphin boff. Moving on to room three. We had a calm morning, but in the afternoon, Dan Vratil did the KDE PIM meeting for hours and hours. And look, there's Volker to be Dan. Yep, hello. Um, so what we discussed was, uh, well, the first thing we did, we, we celebrated that the um, work of our GSOC student was merged yesterday. It was so really cool. The, yep, the end-to-end -end sync uh, resource uh, will ship with the December release. Um, then we had Andre there from uh, GNU PG, and we um, looked at their current work. Um, Particularly interesting there is uh, they are working on uh, improving the uh, smart card support in, in Cleopatra uh, to also cover not just the conventional chip cards, but the um, more widespread USB or NFC password tokens um, to, to store your crypto keys on there, uh, which I find quite exciting. Uh, we briefly touched on the, on the state on, of contact on Windows. And most of the time was spent on the um, long-running task of untangling the various dependencies between the 50-ish or so repositories we have. Um, there has been some recent progress. We managed to get the uh, KDAF code split up into frameworks. Um, and Dan and Laurent worked on uh, getting rid of two of the um, uh, mixed-purpose, unclear scope uh, repositories. So uh, we are making some progress there. Uh, and we looked at specific issues um, uh, on how to continue and, and also longer term, um, looking at a, at a sprint uh, towards end of the year to specifically move this forward. Um, and yeah, detailed notes are uh, linked in the wiki um, if you want to know more. Okay, thanks, Volker. Remember, KDEV supports sprints, so we're always happy to have that kind of events, whether they're online or in real life. You can have cake either way. Okay, thanks, Volker. Uh, moving on to room four. Room four had a theme, which was Wayland. There was a plasma on Wayland meeting at four in the afternoon. Run by Dave. So if Dave is here or any of the other Plasma Wayland folk. Nope. Yeah, Minion taketh the phone. That is true. But this is the other Minion. Um, OK, if we're missing Dave, any other Wayland fans out there? 
At five, there was a test your app on Wayland. Nope, I guess Wayland. Oh, there's Nicholas. Oh, well, then I go again. Welcome. So in the Wayland buff, we, we talked about Wayland. <laughs> and it will fix everything, and we just need to fix it. Uh, something we talked about is KD Connect, because right now two major KD Connect features are missing on Wayland, which is clipboard synchronization and keyboard input. And we have a way forward now how to proceed and bring those features on Wayland. Then what we talked about is a Wayland uh, layer shell integration, which is uh, an awfully technical thing that will make uh, the future much more maintainable. But there are still some open questions to be answered before we can move to that. And we also talked about the stability of Wayland, because right now, once the Wayland compositor, uh, for example, Quinn, crashes, it takes the whole session down, and we talked about potential ways on how to avoid that, but there's not really a clear path forward. Something else we discussed is startup feedback and focus transfer. So for example, you click a link in your chat application and the browser opens, and then the browser window should be focused. But right now on Wayland it isn't, and that needs some extra work and in terms of protocols and implementations. And that also needs some discussion with other folks like the GNOME people on how to move forward on this. OK, thank you, Nicholas. It's good to hear that. Good to hear that Wayland will fix it. It also means that I have to fix Wayland on FreeBSD at some point. So, you know, I have things to do. That's good, because as long as we have things to do, we can keep coming back together and doing cool KDE stuff. This was the end of the BOF wrap-up session, because we had four rooms, and they were filled to the not quite brim. <laughs>